got a mixture of gas calculations questions you can use to test yourself for A-level chemistry. So the link to the questions in the description of the video. Just click on that, have a go at the questions, and then play on for the answers. Okay, so question one's an ideal gas question. We've got volume, temperature, pressure, uh, and the mass of the halogen. So it's PV equals NRT. We're going to find the moles of the halogen and then divide the uh, mass by the moles and get the MR. And obviously you can work out which halogen it is from there. So rearranging for moles becomes PV over RT. And then we'll put the numbers in. Just be careful with your units. So pressure has to be in pascals for the gas equation. So 100 kilopascals is 100,000 pascals. Volume has to be in cubic metres. We've been given it in cubic centimetres, so we just stick a 10 to the minus 6 after the number and put cm cubed straight into um, metres cubed. So effectively you're dividing by a million there. All over the gas constant, 8.314, it's on the data sheet. And 25 degrees C in Kelvin is 298 Kelvin. So we get um, 0 0.03229 moles. Mass over moles gives us an MR for this halogen of 38.1. Just bear in mind that halogens exist as diatomic molecules, and so the halogen was F2 fluorine. Okay, so number two now, compound J is carbon and hydrogen only. We've got the mass of J heated to its boiling point, so it obviously vaporizes, and the volume of gas produced at 1.12 dm cubed. The thing to bear in mind is we're not at RTP here, we're at whatever the boiling point is here. So one mole of gas isn't going to occupy 24 dm cubed. We're told it occupies 19 dm cubed. And we've got to come up with the formula and a structure for J. So there's a reminder, if you're at RTP, the number of moles is the volume in dm cubed over 24. At the temperature that this gas is at, at its boiling point, the number of moles is the volume over 19. So it's the same formula, it's just got a different, you just dividing by that new volume. So the moles of J is going to be the volume over 19. So there's that many moles of J. MR of J, mass over moles, 26.1. It's made from carbon and hydrogen only. So you're going to have two carbons, that gets you to 24, and two hydrogens get you to 26. So J was C2H2. And the structure, you need a triple bond between the two carbons. And then you've got one more available bond each side to those two hydrogens. And that, by the way, is an alkyne molecule and it's called ethyne, the alkyne with two carbons. Question three now. So we've got to calculate the volume of gas in dm cubed made at RTP from the detonation of one kilo sample of TNT. Answer needs to be the nearest whole number. Okay, so first thing we'll calculate is the MR of TNT. So seven carbons, five hydrogens, three nitrogens, six oxygens, two, two, seven. So the moles of TNT is a kilogram, so a thousand grams, gotta be in grams for mole calculations. Thousand grams over two, two, seven. So there's that many moles of TNT. So if we look at the ratio, we've got two moles of TNT makes three and five, so eight plus 12, so 20. Two moles of TNT makes 20 moles of gas. So that's a one to 10 ratio. So per mole of TNT, we're gonna get 10 times as many moles of gas. So we're gonna produce that many moles of gas in this, uh, in this example. So the volume of gas, we're at RTP, which is a bit artificial really, because if you detonate TNT, it's gonna be a bit hotter than, um, than 25 degrees C, but we'll just go with this. So the volume of gas at RTP, 24 times the moles, 1057 dm cubed.